the bonding in compounds can get a lot more complicated than just a couple of atoms connected together. Here you can see three more complicated structures. In all of these pictures, the atoms that are bonded together are connected by either a single line, a double line, or a triple line. Those are the three types of bonds that we're going to look at. Single, double, and triple bonds, where the number of electrons in the bond are 2, 4, or 6. So you can see, for example, in structure number 2, this carbon in the middle has single bond to a carbon on the left and a single bond to an oxygen on the right, but it has a double bond to the oxygen at the top. When molecules become much larger than these, we have a shorter, a quicker way of writing out the same structure. And that's called a line structure or a bond line formula. A bond is represented by just a single line, just like we had in the previous type of drawing. But this time we're going to use a shorthand where we don't write in all the carbon atoms. The carbon atoms are understood to be the end of any line and the intersection of any lines. Hydrogens are not drawn in unless they're bonded to something that's not a carbon. And a key point to keep in mind is every carbon has four bonds. It could be four single bonds, it could be two single and a double bond, it could be a single and a triple, but the total is going to be four. So the same three structures that we started with are shown in this bond line formula here. Structure number one, we have the end of the line, so this represents a carbon atom. Here we have the intersection of two lines, so that's another carbon atom. And this carbon atom is connected to an oxygen, and that oxygen is connected to a hydrogen. The two carbons are connected, and hydrogens are not shown when they're connected to a carbon, so we can fill in a total of four bonds For each, and this doesn't look very nice, but if I rewrite this, the carbon on the end is connected to three hydrogens. It's connected to a carbon, which is bonded to two hydrogens, and that carbon is then connected to an oxygen with one hydrogen. So this structure number one is identical, and it's much quicker to write it in this bond line formula. You, you should be able to do is take these structures for 2 and 3 and verify that they are exactly the same as these structures 2 and 3.